Weekend with Morgan Fogarty. This season is already off to an unusual start for Thomas Davis. The veteran linebacker and fan favorite has been suspended for four games after testing positive for a banned substance. In tonight's Get, he talks about where fans will find him during those four weeks. You know, I struggled with it moderately when it first happened and I first received the news. Thomas Davis forced to sit out from the first four games of the regular season. He tested positive for a banned substance last season. In April, Davis put out his own video explaining what he says was likely a tainted supplement. I've never tested positive for a steroid or, or HGH. It's not one of those situations. It ended up being a, a estrogen blocker <clears throat> that triggered a positive test for me. I asked him if he thought there was a lesson to be learned through this experience. No question. You know, I, I'm, I'm now in a situation where I go and I get all of the, the products tested beforehand. Um, I think that's a must, and I encourage all of the players out there that are using supplements to do the same. Davis is known as much for his hard hits on the field as he is for his big heart off the field. The 2015 Walter Payton Man of the Year spends much of his free time giving back to at-risk kids in the Carolinas and Georgia. And when news of the four-game suspension broke, his own kids were top of mind. My kids know me. You know, they understand that. They have a father that's never had alcohol, never done a drug in, in his life, and they know this. It's funny, though, because the first thing that, that TJ, my youngest son, said was, well, Dad, it looks like you got to come back and play another year. Davis seems to agree with his son, telling me that now he doesn't want this year to be his last. As long as um, I'm, I'm healthy and I can still go out and contribute to the team, and it's not like... Um, Oh, we're just keeping them on for, for, for moral purposes or motivation. Then I'm going to go out and I'm going to compete and I'm going to still seek to play. In the meantime, he's got four weeks, five really, including the bye, to sit out. But sit out doesn't mean do nothing. Davis tells me he'll be working out, attending his kids' athletic events, doing more with his Defending Dreams Foundation, and supporting his teammates from the stands. You heard that right. Fans will find Thomas Davis sitting in one of the seats at Bank of America Stadium as a spectator. I absolutely plan on um, attending the games. I know that you really can't have access over there when you're suspended, but I'm a PSL owner now, so I'm going to go over there and I'm going to attend the games using my own tickets. You know, it's kind of hard to say um, how my emotions are going to be and, you know, how, how I'm going to do throughout that process, but I know that I'm going to go support my teammates, and I know that um, that I'm going to try not to get too emotional. Thomas says he'll keep a close eye on his fellow linebackers and give the guys feedback. He says for them, it'll be like having an extra coach.